Morning everybody, Eddie DeBlock here with Jimbo, Relic Extractors. A few days after the weekend melee up here in New York with the uh, Crick Diggers, um, Cloverdale Diggers, and uh, Hunter from Eastern Outdoors. Um, I lost my first video, I shut it off by accident, reaching for my phone to grab this bottle here uh, but let's start over so here's the hole that me and john were working on on saturday i'm just getting down into where uh, the rust layer is down in there and uh i've already pulled out a really nice relatively common but they're really nice uh isaac crans court blob and Isaac Crans, blown and mold, crown, quart size, without the uh, measurement variant in the middle there. Uh, between Isaac Crans and Middletown, it would say 26 ounce or whatever. So I was working over a little bit more, and uh, this little puppy popped out. I thought it would have been a Sweeney's or a small Crans, and um, Travis, Corey, or maybe one of your viewers that lives down that way might be able to tell me a little bit more about this a little pleasant surprise here uh what does this say burke berkeley springs bottling works berkeley springs west virginia J w t buser b u s e r owner he's blowing a mold crown probably around 1910 a little earlier maybe so that was a nice little find there like i said pleasant surprise way out of town so to me it's rare um we'll do a little research on that and see what we got and then i got this um probably like off a cold cream jar or something like that uh it's got flower petal design to it and it does I can't really make out the writing on it. It does say something cream right there by my finger, but um, I don't know who the maker is, but we'll get that cleaned up later on and uh, we'll see what it is. Other than that, just a little slick med and strap side, like a slick milk of magnesia type bottle there. So that's it so far. So we'll get back to you on the next. All right, guys. Jimbo was uh, working on the other side for me here. On that side, we only got about maybe a foot, 14 inches of undug wall in between us. And he's working that way towards me going this way. So we got all this cast off up here. So I'm going to pull out what I can out of here and then I'm just going to knock it down and then we're going to work it from the back side. He's working along and he just pulled the nice uh dr pierce's golden medical discovery not as common as the other pierce bottles so nice aqua color blown like i said not as easy to come by as the other ones so, so jimbo's on the board we'll get back at you in the next Well, guys, that's compromised. The that whole top just broke off and filled the hole in. I got out just in time. Jimbo was watching my back. I got up out and leaned up against the bank right here. And the whole thing, about a good ton, maybe more of dirt, just fell right in and filled the hole back up to pretty much ground level. That's all cast off right there. From when we were digging over here. So we're going to move over to another hole. See what we can get. And we'll get back at you. Alright guys. Well. Rain's coming in and out. So before we get soaked. Jimbo's already headed out. 
I'm just gonna walk around over here behind all this stuff right here. This is all from last weekend with Crick Diggers, Cloverdale Diggers, Steam Shovel Steve, LMFAO. Uh, Andy was digging right about there, right in there. And uh, Cloverdales were over there behind those trees. And that's the road on the way out. This hole right here is still uh, very much diggable and up underneath this tree right next to it. Um, still pretty much undug up and around the one side of it. So there's still plenty of uh, opportunity. There's so many undug spots in between these holes all the way around here. See, I just gave you a 360. So... With that being said, before the rain actually comes in and I get totally soaked, I'm going to do my quick walk around and grab all the slicks that nobody wanted. Since I get a dollar to a dollar sixty-five a piece for them, pays for my gas to come up here and uh, make you know someone else makes use of them. And uh, like I said, it funds the dig. We'll get back at you later. All right, guys, have a good day.